protest. The man is doing well. You don't need to protest. No need to protest. Tinubu is doing well, sir. Yes! I want you to do it now. If I see Tinubu, this paper, so I go screw the rules and rub his face. No matter they tell you so. The youths of Nigeria have already started making their intentions known even before the 1st of August. Many persons have taken to the street to express their displeasure. But you know the painful thing? The painful thing is that these people, when you want to constructively engage with them in a dialogue, they will not even permit you, you that is a reporter. A hungry man is an angry man. Many has directly vented their anger out on the president of this very federation. The Eyaloja of Nigeria, the daughter of Bola Ahmed Tinubu, has said that Nigerians should give her father three more years before coming out to protest. She was even saying it as though she's warning each and every one of us. But truth be told, the hunger is too much. Imagine the cost of food increasing by 41.5%. A former presidential aspirant that is currently associated with the Tinubu regime came out to boldly tell Nigerians that we should be patient, that what we are experiencing now is as a result of the Russia-Ukraine war. Can you imagine? A tuba of yam is now sold at 8,500 naira. Some persons even sell theirs for 10,000 naira. Do you know that four balls of tomato Tomato is now sold for 300 naira. That is the smallest balls. Though. The big ones are now sold three, four, six hundred naira to 200 per ball of tomato. How can we survive with this level of hardship? The funny thing that happened some hours ago when the citizens of Abuja wanted to organize their protest in Egu Square just to avoid any form of violence. Nine, the minister of FCC told them that they're going to pay a hefty amount of money. Imagine youths that don't even have a job youths that are clamoring for change you are leaving them with an exorbitant amount of money to use a public facility the man is doing well no need to protest tinubu is doing well sir yes i want you to do now tinubu tinubu after in eight years you will know the after in eight years i tell you for yourself you see the difference then you know eight years you know for years you see the difference so you will still vote tinubu next election who who will vote who will vote you will vote him who will vote who who is it obi or atuko I can't do that, no. I can't do that kind of mistake. And I will never do that kind of mistake. All right, all right. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. As I want to say that all the way that support Jakaba is a good man. All right, all right, sir. So, like, you know, the Act B was being uh, cancelled. The government retrieved it from the council. Now, the Kenya youth want the president to resign. And Nigeria said we are also passing through the other time. Nigeria is like a living hell. So, should people want to know out of the office? Want to hear your reaction? Should what is happening in Kenya happen in Nigeria? No, it's not advisable. We should just try and be patient with the young man. Who is the young man here? Yeah. Uh, our president. Tinubu is a Bola Ahmed Tinubu. We should, he's a man. He's vibrant. He's working. The wrong that have been done for the past years, you can't expect him to perform magic within just by night so that in the morning everything will be okay, everything will be normalized. No, it's not normal. You have to give him time, put things in place. I think that is this young man, what was his name? What is the name of that man that said everything is going okay, even our former president, good luck, Jonathan. He even made speech last week. He said that we should give the young man time, that he's putting things in place. He's somebody like good Lord Jonathan, and the good Lord Jonathan is a respected man in Nigeria, and you know that. If he have seen something, before, before, uh, period before this time, he had not been in support of this young man. But there is something that he saw, there is something that he seen, that made him to come out on air. There is some, Tinibu, yes, he's a man, he's a, yeah, he's a young man, that's his age, I know he's an old man, but... Blood is still running his in him. In his mind is young because he has good agenda for our dear country. You can't expect the young man to perform magic overnight. No protest. No. You see this hardship in the land now. It's even in the Western world. They are even. They are, it's all over the world. It's not only in Nigeria. It's something that is happening globally. It's not only in Nigeria. We should just give him time. Just give him time and be patient. And you, as a youth, you won't say that maybe things are tough, things are not getting better. You fold your hand and sit down. Look at me here now. It's not easy, even easy with me, but I won't just maybe in the morning and sit down and say, oh, the president should provide my this one for me. No, you have to go out and walk. 
you support I said I'll support the typical Yoruba boy. Ah, no, that's just you. Who is one year in office? Is there anything you can say the man has done since he came? Oh, let me just shock you. Let me shock you. Yeah. Shock you. <laughs> what are you enjoying in Nigeria now? Thank you. Uh, we are enjoying a lot of things. Freedom. We have freedom in Nigeria. <laughs> we have freedom in Nigeria. Free food. Uh, free lights. We are enjoying free cats. Nobody is taxing you for anything. As you are an advanced country, now, as you are walking up and down, that they will arrest you. You understand? Because you don't have tax. I, I think you don't have. Tell me the truth. Do you have tax? Do you have? <laughs> but yeah, you're enjoying it. So you are enjoying it? Yes. Tinubu is the best. Oh, best. I'll, I'll show that. I'll give you more. Six years. Six plus four. How many? Wait, wait. Six plus four. How many years? Ten years. Ten years. That's Tinubu Yes, yes. So I'm asking you, what is the one thing the man has done? So oh, let me tell you. The, the typical Yoruba boy is a, 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 a correct man for Nigeria. Nigeria. <laughs> Let Obi tell us he really is. Yes, yes. Do you feel the man is competent? Yes, the man is competent. In Kenya now. Is is enemy enemy that pushing down that day? <laughs> Do you want to be the enemy <laughs> pushing down? Have you seen in Kenya where you came <laughs> to protest that? Uh, hey, that can you protest? Can you? Can you protest? When they say, come on, let's go and protest, your girlfriend now will tell you, no, 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 my honey, they cannot go, they are not want to lose you. Your girlfriend will tell you that he will not go out no, again. No, 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 if I see through the pool, this paper, so I go screw the rules and rub his face. No matter they tell you so. Through the pool, I go. No, no, let me even talk about through the pool. Through the pool, now, Percy. Through the pool, now, Percy. Oh, yeah, um, good evening, ma. Evening, sir. What's it, your name? I am Mrs. Juliet. Where you be? From Afawa. Afawa. Yes. Hey, Mama, how you see uh, the Nigerian market now? Mm -hmm. The general market is tough, oh. but we see, we see targets. It's tough, where, where? Can we to see a market day? We don't believe. We see targets. So, the last market you come, where does it happen? I did the market, oh. We did. I did the market, everything happen. It's a terrible something. History, where we say, you know, they finish. Now, I put that last market. But all the say we see targets. For how long you know they call this market before? My heart has been quite heavy. Around January 2020, there was a promising young man. At some point, he said he was about to get married. The week of his wedding, he was stabbed. They took him to the hospital and the doctors said that they were not going to treat him without police report. He struggled with his life for over three hours and they were looking at him till he died. And he was buried on the Saturday that ought to be his wedding day. Last year, there was another incident of a very promising young woman here in the city of Abuja. She took a bus, call it one chance. And in the course of collecting all her belongings, they stabbed her and they took her to the hospital. I, I got the video. She was on the floor in the hospital and the doctors were saying, we can't treat you without police report till she... Now, when this and many more happens to people, they say Nigeria has happened to them. In each of these two cases, if any one of these people have people in power and call, they will treat them. We don't want to have a nation that only works for the higher mighty. We want Nigeria for Nigerians. There are young people, some in churches across board, whose lives might be wasted this week because they want a better country. And some who might not even step out of their houses. And when Nigeria happens to you, they say it is tribulant. If there's a way our voice can be heard, we just want a country that works and i want to beg if we can beg the president speak talk to the people people just want a better life we just want to survive and it is not too much to ask for when my wife was you know 
give birth to her first daughter. We took her to the hospital. You need to see how the nurses sat down carelessly. And I had to scream, stand up. That's what you are paid for. And attend to us. And they came lazing themselves. And then the doctor came out. He said, hey, Pastor Lazarus, it's Pastor Lazarus. And all the doctors came out. Oh, Pastor Lazarus. Oh, we are sorry. What is the fate of the common man? That is not the government. That is our people. The government is not the only problem. The nurses that want to attend to people, they are not the government. They are the people. So when you agitate for a better nation, tell yourselves the truth. Don't just bow to names. Have humanity like that. What we have today, it is Nigeria by Nigerians. And it can stop with you and I. People are dying and we say it is the will of God. No, it's not. And for those of you who believe that you are too rich for Nigeria to happen to you, I tell you, you lie. It doesn't matter how rich you are. The state of the nation can become your fate. We pray for Nigeria and we do what is right as citizens. It is easy to criticize the leadership or understand that we are also leaders and we can also do better. The boss who is not paying people their salaries uh, because he wants to show them is the boss also wants to protest. Your own government is failing. The lecturer who is trying to sleep with girls before they can pass also wants to protest. Your own government too is failing. All of us should do what is right. God bless you.